with six seniors, five seniors started today. Three are normally in the starting lineup, and all three have played very, very well. That's Vasquez's first point as you look at the tournament resume. The wins sweep of Duke in North Carolina. Two of those came this week, and that's what Gary Williams was telling Jimmy and I before the ball game. That he was a little bit leery about that. Because he says, you know what, the players sometimes don't forget that we beat those two teams. And I know the fans aren't going to forget it. we got to put it behind us and use NC State as just the next building block to the ACC tournament. Again, I don't think anyone in college basketball has had a better last 10 days than these Maryland Terps. They've improved their RPI 20 points over the last 11 or 12 days. That's how well Gary Williams' team's playing right now. NC State turns it over. Trying to get an entry pass down on the low block. Vasquez comes back. Strawberry now will bring it back out on top. Maryland has done that six games stretch, Brad, in the best conference in college basketball this year, the ACC. All the wins this league's had against the top 50 RPI just tells you the strength of this Maryland club. Running out of time. Six on the shot clock now. Vasquez has a look. Goes over the top of that sewer. That ball last touch, I think, by McCauley, who was battling for the rebound. It's going to give Maryland another shot at it. You talk about climbing the ladder. There it is from 31 to 11 since February the 17th. That's about as good as you can ask for when you're playing in this league. Maryland's got nine wins against the top 50 RPI. Maryland hasn't been to the NCAA tournament in three years. They were picked to finish seventh in the preseason in the ACC. Started two and five, and here they are with a chance to go to ten and six if this lead holds up. And Jones is helping it hold up. Thirteen for Mike Jones, one of the aforementioned seniors. And now the lead is the biggest of the afternoon. And I think you have to have a guy like Jones that can just jump up and stroke one on you when you have to have it. When you get to that second or third week in March. Costner strokes it right back. His second three of this half. 15 points for Brandon. Brandon Costner. Maybe on his way to become a freshman of the year the ACC. Number four rebounder and the leading scorer on this team. Although he's a retro freshman, typically, still he's a freshman as far as classification. He is my freshman of the year in this league with the scoring and rebounding that he's done. Yes comes up short. The Thaddeus Youngs and the Javaris Crittenden's of the world yep. would argue, at least their fans would. But uh, I don't have any problem with your choice. Well, Costner's trying to become only the seventh guy in the history of the ACC to lead his team in both scoring and rebounding as a freshman. It's hard to argue against that. It really is. Grant's fouled in the paint. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, Maryland has a 10 point lead, but again, the pace. No rhythm in this ball game. It's not back and forth. The crowd's pretty quiet. All those things, I think, still allow NC State to have hope in this game. Grant well under his average. We have not had a lot of free throws in this ball game. That's the first one of the second half for North Carolina State. Maryland has shot three in the second half and hit them all. Strawberry picked up that foul. That's only his first, though. There's a good shot. You've got to just ignore everything going on and focus in on that rim. It's not easy. And he did. Yeah, but Grant. Cuts the lead down to eight. Been very quiet in here, too, in the Comcast Center. Where Maryland's only lost twice all year. And that way. He's much more effective, Brad, when he's scoring going towards the rim as opposed to being a shooter about six or seven feet. He's not a shooter, but he can score when he's aggressive going towards that net. And he was the other night against Duke when he had 17. Here's Grant now, back-to-back -back scores by Grant. He's well under his Grant. average. He's starting to warm things up a little bit. We're under 13 minutes. Maryland by eight. 
Maryland trying to move into the number four spot in the ACC with the ACC turning down to Tampa starting next Thursday. Here's Jones on a fadeaway. Rebound off to Atsur. This time Atsur looking to push it. Let's see if Grant will try a heat check. Nope, he's going to back things up. Big, big ball game for Maryland because if they can move up to that fourth position in the fourth seed, they only have to win three games to win the ACC tournament. That's critical. Grant on the baseline. Short. Fighting for it is McCauley. The ball comes out to Osby, though. Now it's Hayes on the run. Gives it back to the big guy. Off the glass. Second time today he's used the glass effectively. And Maryland's bigs, Brad, they're really good at running free throw to free throw. They don't get outside and get wide. They run right down the middle of the floor. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Costner will try a triple. He hit a couple, missed that one. Kept alive underneath by McCauley, up and under for Ben McCauley. His first ben score of the second McCauley. half. You're trying to build a program like Sidlow is. You've got to have a workhorse, a major bricklayer like McCauley is. That guy right there now. Yeah, his attitude and work ethic is going to do a lot of stuff for you. Jones has taken two shots from the same spot and missed them both, but it's kept alive by Ebekwe. Jones on a floater. Mike Jones, 15 points in his final appearance on this floor. And now over the last three games, Mike Jones is averaging about 10 or 11 points a ball game from the two-point territory. That's good news for Maryland. That's who are inside. It's blocked by Jones. And we've got a timeout with 11.08 to go in the ball game. 55-45. We'll be back after these messages and a word from our ABC stations.